call it the big L train shutdown, a massive reconfiguration of New York City traffic announced today more than a year before major repairs shut down the L train for 15 months. No cars on one of Manhattan's busiest streets, no cars with fewer than three passengers over one bridge, twice as many bicyclists on another bridge. A huge change for 400,000 L train riders and everyone else. Here's Ivan News reporter Stefan Kim. Here's one thing you'll never hear drivers in the city ask for, ban cars on a major crosstown street for more than a year. But it's going to be hard for me to avoid it. Work right here. Uh, not pretty, because it's already not pretty as it is. So you, you do that for what? How many months? 15 months. 15 months. Uh, I guess I have to buy a train or something. Yeah, about that train. Not exactly an option, because a new city plan calling for a car ban on 14th Street is because of the long-awaited L train shutdown. I call it the L-pocalypse. Why? Because it's going to be horrible. So for the 15-month duration, no cars on 14th between 3rd and 9th Avenues during rush hour, the MTA and DOT's goal, kick off cars to make way for more bus service. To make up for that lack of train service, a two-way bike lane will also be installed on 13th Street, and you guessed it, Pretty much everyone hates it. Yeah, but the problem is to get from Brooklyn to Manhattan. Right. Uh, in Manhattan, it's not a problem. Does it doesn't really help me? Wait, there's more. The Williamsburg Bridge will become HOV only for cars with at least three people during rush hour, including all types of cabs. We're also having additional trains. Some of the people coming in from the south uh, will be able to connect to other lines. There will also be three new bus lines between Brooklyn and Manhattan, plus a new ferry route. But some elected officials worry about the pain. This is a, a, a band-aid that we have to rip off. You know, we can spend years uh, doing piecework, making sure that people can get over the bridge, but at the end of the day, this will inconvenience riders for a very long time. The next step is public meetings to get community feedback. So the plan is subject to change. The shutdown starts in 2019.